first flight here in this indoor parking garage. I always fly my DJI drones here. And I'm gonna go try it out with the FPV. Let's see from here. The interesting one. Yeah. I just wanna go in where it's so hot. At least over here is much cooler, but still hot too. So it's really hot. I mean having your gel in your hair, you know, and just putting these goggles up, sometimes you can get the lens dirty. So I'd advise you to get some muddy cloth and just keep wiping it off. I mean it's crazy. And there you go. Then we're gonna go out and go for a flight. So before I do anything, especially I'm here in indoor garage. Um I'm just making sure I had a good signal, especially with GPS. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just checking everything, my goggles, if it's ready for me to fly, you know, without no any issue or anything like that. So yeah, you just want to go ahead before I do anything. That's a good thing about this Avada is the fact that you have a longer flight time. So you can still do a pre-checkup, you know, do everything else before you even think about making your first attempt flying this Avada drone. I was There you go. Practice. By using the goggles. Actually lower down the volume because it's really like loud. I mean, the Avada drone is really like loud. Especially indoor. But anyway, um, you can see here, this from the goggles. There's really no stabilization. Meter, six um, meter. The OSD, you can see everything. And I'm only going like, I would wow. say like six to seven or eight meters, you know? I'm in indoor garage, just trying out for the first time this Avada drone, just to, you know, with the motion controller. And I'm just surprised with it, you know, already, but just flying this, even though I'm just I mean, it's precision, you know? flying around here. And I feel confident already, you know, especially this tiny, say. you can say a FPV or a mini or whatever you want to call it. And... The reason why I'm talking to you guys about it because this Avada is not for freestyling. It's not for, you know, one of those FPV racing kind of deal. This is Explorer. I mean, this thing is tiny that you can pretty much go anywhere with it. Like, no limit. That's the reason why I think DJI did not put obstacle avoidance. So, you can go low light. You can just go in and fly. I mean, you know, you have the good stuff in here already. If you freak out, you have to break. But the good thing about the Vada is this part right here, man. It's just just fun, you know, when you go up here, just, you know, like a FPV drone you would see. And now you can see here, I'm in the indoor <laughs> garage and I'm in the roof right now, flying it around. I still get a good signal. I mean, this right here, guys, most likely the signal dropped because there's lots of interference. But the AccuSync, you can see here, is still pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it to sport mode. And it's a rock steady. Look at the video quality of it. I mean, you know, I did not fix the horizon or anything like that yet. And now you can see from the goggles, you can see the it's not stabilized like supposed to be. And it's still nice. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just fun to fly. So, you, you know, if you get this it's not because you want to compare this to your mini 3 pro or you want to compare this to your air 2s or you want to compare this to other drones guys this is all about you just want to have a good time what kind of drone that you want to get that you just want to have fun that you can just fly you know i think that's one reason why dji called this born to fly just for you to just enjoy you know have a good time you know you have a good camera you have a good signal and you have a good precision controlling. I mean, this motion sensor is just, wow, you know, with with accurate already for you, you know? And you don't have to worry about putting a GoPro on top of it or any other action camera. It has everything for you already in the little package, you know? So it's just fun, guys, to, to fly this. Now I have put back in the goggles. <laughs> um, recording here you can see and like i said you know and you can press the pause it would just stop immediately you know so it's 
I'm pretty sure DJI is probably going to make a smaller one of these and probably got longer flight time. And the third version of this already is probably going to be smaller. Like they're gonna, probably going to shrink it down more. And that should have been better for me. So for us, for us to just want to have a good time and fly. And you can see here, guys, I'm just showing it to you what this Avara drone can do. This is actually my first time flying this FPV here. I most likely would use obstacle avoidance drones here <laughs> you know and now with this avada drone it's just much more fun you know so i think i got the finally the right for you guys to think about you know like so this is not you know you cannot compare this to fpv drones you're not you're not gonna compare this to build you know how you build it yourself. This is for you just to go places, go vacation. You see something, you just want to go and explore. You know this is not really like you know going tunnels or doing flips or tricks or all that. I mean you do have this option. You can get the controller. You can get the option if you want. But like I said, you know, what is it for you? That's the reason why DJI, you know, marketing this for for I think for everyone. You can have the controller if you want more freestyling, you want to do a little bit more racing kind of deal, or you just want to have a good time, explore, you know, feel to fly and using your just your motion controller and it's really good too. So anyway, guys, just want to say thank you for watching, subscribe, like, and share. I'm just letting you guys my experience flying this avatar drone. I mean, guys, you get the controller, great signal, I mean, I'm in the garage. The goggle is good. I mean, it's just so hot right now. It's like a hundred something degrees, but I had a good time, guys.